Greetings Poofarians, welcome back to another episode of Bomb Squad Academy with me Poofy and this time we have a yellow arrow. I have um, fumbled a around a bit with my... <laughs> apparently I'm using two screens, I'm using my television and I'm using my, my laptop screen and apparently my TV is a 4K, so the resolution is huge. That's why I can only see the arrow if I <laughs> if I placed it here in the game. But anyways, that's fixed now. So um, yeah, wires. Sometimes you'll see boards with wires. Wires work just like traces. They allow the current to flow from one component to the other. However, small wires like these can be cut. Go ahead, turn all four LEDs off. All right, so I'm gonna cut the blue one. The yellow one, the green one, and the red one. And they're all off. Excellent. But remember, just because you can cut a wire doesn't mean you always should. Especially because you cannot uncut a wire. That's some really, really smart advice. Diffuse the bomb. Oh, damn. What should we do? Uh, the battery is here. I want the current there. I want this one cut. And I want the current there. Great job, thanks to you, the world is a safer place. Thank you. Looks like a single wire was too easy, how about three? Oh damn, and they're all twisted together. Snap, so this one needs power. There. And uh, I'm just gonna cut that one, because... <laughs> fuck that shit. That was easy, you can, ju you can just cut it right in front of it. <laughs> Next. All right, let's look at our first logic gate. First logic gate, holy crap. This red component here is an AND gate. The AND gate only lets current flow through if both inputs have current flowing in. Ah, so it's the AND, yeah, I've, I've had this at school. Try for yourself, so they both need to be on for that amazing buzzer to buzz. Yeah, bye. Great, you're ready to do some work. All right. Defuse the bomb. And there's some power here. And uh, that one should be on. And that one should be off. And that one should be on. Congratulations, you defused the bomb. Thank you. We're doing swell here. Wow, this board has a lot of switches. Maybe you should flip them all. Uh, I guess not. This one, this one will remain off. Uh, the others, though, they can be turned on, for all I care. I don't mind. Congratulations, you defused the... Oh, I can twist. <laughs> twist the screen a bit. Uh, next. Here's a slightly more challenging bomb. Is it now? Uh, I just... I That one should be off and turned off. Now the others... The others can be turned on for all I care. Great job again. Is it really this easy to defuse bombs? Not sure. Let's check out another couple components. These guys are rotary switches. Rotary switches allow you to select which path the current takes. Try to turn on the display. Alright. There. There. Go ahead. You rock. You do indeed. That was easy. Try to get the signal across from the in port to the out port. Uh, so, okay. So let's do it like this then. <laughs> okay. Uh, every direction. Uh, you could also pick that one. That's right. Awesome. The signal is getting through. Really, it's not that hard. I bet you think that last place was pretty easy. How about this one? Uh, this one is easy too. I definitely don't want to touch this one right now. I can do it like that and then... This might work. There. Uh, there. That's it. Well done. With plenty of time left on the, the timer. Defuse the bomb. Uh, this one. What's going on with this one? There's nothing going on with that one. And... Why are you missing something? 
Oh, snap. Wait a minute. Is this even possible? Oh, there. Of course, I can cut the power. You chose wisely. <laughs> I didn't choose anything at all. Great job back there. Time to learn about another logic gate. Right, and we're going to do that next time. So I want to thank you guys for watching, helping me defuse bombs, and I hope to see you next time. For now, I, Poofy, salute you.